Today I bring you perhaps the most important updates on the Interstellar Object 3 I Atlas. These updates begin with the following phrase, knowledge is realizing that the street is one way and wisdom is looking in both directions of the street. This phrase was cited by Avi Loeb, professor of astrophysics at Harvard, who is actually quoting Albert Einstein, the supposed author of the phrase. What he wants to tell us with this sentence is that science is currently ignoring the most important anomaly of all, the biggest anomaly of the interstellar object 3i atlas, and it is the following. The seven jets detected from 3i atlas, seen in various photographs by playing with RGB tones, are so incredibly large that the calculation of the energy needed to produce them breaks all possible schemes about the object's nature. These seven jets, which we already discussed in a video program very recently, extend one million kilometers toward the sun and three million kilometers in the opposite direction. They form tails and anti-tails. These are cometary anti-tails, which we have talked about many times pointing toward the sun. What happens is that these jets persist for between one and three months. For this to be possible, Avi Loeb has performed calculations that show the following. The sublimation of the CO2 expelled by the object requires three times 10 to the 22nd joules of energy, meaning three I atlas would have to absorb solar light in an area 23 kilometers in diameter. This indicates that the object three I atlas should have a minimum diameter of 51 kilometers and not 5.6 kilometers, as the Hubble Space Telescope told us, since Hubble's observations give it a diameter of 5.6. If that is the case, the 1 million and 3 million kilometer tail cannot be explained. It cannot be explained by the numbers. Avi Loeb says that to explain it, the necessary energy comes from a nucleus of at least 51 kilometers. This is what I am telling you. A nucleus as small as the one proposed by Hubble makes it impossible to emit these seven massive long duration energy jets because they last up to three months and also without fragmenting at perihelion. Note that 3i Atlas has not broken up at perihelion and it should have broken up given those energy jets because it would show that it is fragmented inside. Know that it is about to break and that has not happened. Having said all this, it means that the massive, long duration and enormous energy jets do not fit with a natural comet, nor with the available energy it should have. Avi Loeb warns the following. Ignoring this anomaly just to fit traditional models is a mistake. And that phrase seems vital to me. It seems key. Why does science ignore anomalies to make it fit what everyone expects in the already established models? It doesn't make sense. It's not even scientific, but they do it. Furthermore, Avi Loeb leaves us with one last detail about this aspect. Attention, if the jets point toward the sun, the object should accelerate in the opposite direction. Exactly the type of maneuver that a spacecraft would use, using perihelion to propel itself like a trampoline, correcting its orbit, and he leaves that pearl there. He makes us think, is this what we are seeing? Apart from that speculation, the calculations do not fail and the calculations cannot explain, as I have already told you, the energy needed for those seven energy jets that extend millions of kilometers. Now we go to the second part of the video. We talk about what happened at perihelion as new images were released on November 11th, 2025, taken by David Jewett and Jane Liu with the 2.56 meter Nordic Optical Telescope at La Palma. And they showed that 3i Atlas continues to be a single body with no signs of fragmentation. And this is interesting because it has suffered 33 gigawatts of direct energy from the sun, which could have pulverized any object, but 3i Atlas has survived perihelion unfazed. The brightness extends mainly toward an angle of 106 degrees, almost aligned with the solar direction, which is approximately 115 degrees. And a secondary asymmetry is also observed at 301 degrees, close to the anti-solar direction. 295 degrees. The images cover a region of 500,000 square kilometers and were taken with an R filter. So the huge gas jets seen recently cannot be observed here. I would also like to talk about the radio signals that have been detected by 3i Atlas since it was on October 24th of this year, 2025, when the Meerkat radio telescope 
which is an antenna system of about 13.5, operated by the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory, were the ones who managed to capture a radio signal from 3i Atlas for the first time in history. The team was led by DJ Pisano, and they published all of this finding in the Astronomer's Telegram. So it is something real, something that is not a rumor, like many out there Meerkat detects absorption lines of the hydroxyl radical, two specific lines that correspond to the masers of 1665 and 1667. Of course, we are not talking about an emission per se of a radio signal, but an absorption of a signal. These measurements have revealed a Doppler shift of minus 15.6 kilometers per second and line widths between 0.88 and 1.26 kilometers per second. Technical data that ultimately tells us that subsequent attempts were made on September 20th and 28th and failed to detect what was detected on October 24th. These absorptions of radio signals belonging to hydroxyl avi Loeb has said that this is common in comets, that this could be detected in other bodies that it is not any type of extraterrestrial or communication signal, at least a priori. But he also says that five weeks before the discovery, Avi Loeb had already suggested to Meerkat to search for radio signals, especially because its trajectory aligns so much with the famous WOW signal of 1977 that they had to continue investigating if it emits signals, and not only absorption, but emission. So for now, it is something explainable, in quotes, but we must be attentive. Having said this, we now move on to another matter, NASA. NASA, after 43 days of silence, of a communications blackout due to the federal government shutdown, has just lifted the shutdown and is returning to normal operations. So from now on, NASA no longer has an excuse due to the federal government shutdown and returns to normal communications. But what has happened? Well, Avi Loeb has been asking for a lot of days what is happening at NASA. And this has been because NASA, during the communications shutdown, has been publishing daily photographs of Mars. And Avi Loeb says, why are you publishing of Mars and not selectively publishing photographs of 3i Atlas? And the astrophysicist has been starting to suspect that there is something that does not fit in that federal government shutdown, as if it were an excuse to cover up something. He hinted at it. He didn't say it directly. And I think we all agree with this. Things are being hidden. The coincidences that all this issue with NASA is having and this scientific kidnapping of information do not make sense. Scientific information should not be kidnapped. Something is happening. And having said this, friends, here you have the updates as of today on everything that is being said about 3i Atlas. Obviously, we will do more because the information is new every day. And I am waiting to make compilations of this style. So here you have the information. Now it is up to you to verify and continue investigating. As I said, from here, as always, I send you a warm hug, and we will see each other again in another video.